This is Ricardo Suave from Jamaica, and you're watching Sports Talk with Lionfoot TV, the man himself, Lionfoot. Hey. Greetings, people. Welcome to Sports Talk with the man himself, Lionfoot. Yes. Shout out to all of the Arsenal fans, them. All of the lovers of football, all the 20 teams in the Premier League, the Championship. It doesn't matter. As long as you're a sports fan, let's get interact, get some interaction from you guys. Yes. So today I want to talk about um, the believers and the doubters of Arsenal football team. Now, Man City plays tonight. They face um, Leeds away. Leeds are a good, decent attacking team. They don't hold back. They play the same football as um, Man City. So it will be a nice, interesting game. Free-flowing football. Leeds, yeah. So let's see how that one's going to turn out. Hopefully they can do the job as Brentford did against Man City. Defend well, but attack at the same time. Yes, so let's see. Fingers crossed. Leeds can do us a job to try to extend the gap to 11 points. Yes. So now I want to talk about the Arsenal fans them who are still doubting that we're not, we're, we're, we're not going to win the league. I'm not saying we're, we are going to win it, but I think after playing 15 games, we're not even halfway yet, but... I think the mindset has to believe, start believing now. You know, it's football, anything can happen, injury. You know, we look at Jesus, we lost Jesus to injury now. So, Man City can do the same. They can lose injuries, a um, couple of players to injuries. You never know. Um, Newcastle is also playing well. I know people don't want to believe that their team can win the league. Newcastle can also win the league. You know, but... um. I'm saying to the Arsenal fans, um, we have to start believing and the mindset to believe. If you start doubting and having the doubt mindset of become finishing third or in the top four, that's what's going to happen. You know, um, the team is playing well. The manager has, got, has um, credit to Arteta. He got the team playing well. You know, a lot of doubters, they did doubt him. You know what I mean? Funny, he just got the job and, you know, we missed out of... Um, the top four last season. So now we see the mouth. The, the mouth, the people who used to doubt Arteta, cuss him, want him out there are now. Some of them I see on AFTV um, talking and saying they apologize and all that stuff. But yeah, managers need time, players need time to settle and show their real class. So I'm watching a live today on AFTV and we're still, we're still saying. We're not gonna win the league. We're finishing third. Um, I know. Um, I know you don't want to say, "Oh, we're, we're gonna be like be get it." We're not. No, you don't have to be be get it, but be confident and say, "Yes, we can win the league. We are gonna win the league." It doesn't matter if we say that and we finish second or third. I think now we have to stop saying, "Oh, we're gonna finish third. Man City gonna win the league. Man City gonna win it." It's like a mind game. We're playing. Reverse psychology, because I think Pep Guardiola respects Arteta, but he plays a little mind games also, like trying to put the pressure on the spotlight on Arsenal. And the reason why I say that, you know, he made a comment earlier, um, I think in his press conference, and this is what he said. After our defeat against Brentford, and with the how strong Arsenal are, we have to be alert because if the distance is bigger, it will be so difficult to catch them. And that is what Pep Guardiola said in his press conference. And rightly so, he is right. We are, we are eight points ahead of them with um, a game in and after tonight. And then, you know, if they lose tonight at Leeds or draw, you know, Arsenal have the opportunity to win their next game and then before we go into Man City game. Yes, so Pep Guardiola is, Pep Guardiola is um, highlighting and making known that Arsenal are a strong team and you have to keep eyes on them. You have to stay sharp. You can't afford 
to drop any more points because you know we see last season they were Liverpool was ahead and City came and catched them you know um, our City was ahead yeah Liverpool came and catched them give them a really odd battle the season end in style you know in a good ending people were fretting and sweating but Man City did the job so not every time not every season it's gonna happen like that you get me so I just want the Arsenal fans them to start believing and get that doubt out of the mindset like we're gonna finish third or fourth we're not gonna win the league yes we don't wanna we wanna we, we don't wanna find it hard to believe yes <laughs> but we have to start believing and spread that around the, 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 the team and the atmosphere the guys are mature they are matured now they're playing with confidence they're not any kids anymore you know Arteta got them playing with strength you know um, passion drive you know and confidence you know when they make a mistake they don't dwell on it they move on you know we see um, Enketia had a chance to score good chance in the box and he wasted it but the next chance he had he, he spinned his defender and scored the goal that's the confidence in the team I think he just need time in the team and for everyone to understand where he is where he's gonna be where to play the ball and I think he needs to improve a little bit on his decision making but apart from that I saw him coming in deep and his fitness level you know he was he worked his socks off he could hardly breathe you know <laughs> like I thought at one point I thought they were gonna substitute him you know but credit to him and I'm happy for him that he scored because we the fans put a lot of pressure on, on them as well and that doesn't help some of the time you know we can't have everything like luxurious you have to give the guys them time and give the team time and belief you know there's 20 teams in the league and only one can win it you know so let's get behind the team support them and start believing yes we can win the league i'm saying that we can win the league or we are gonna win the league you know we are gonna win the league touch wood there's no slip-ups uh you know um no bad injuries but we're 15 game gone you know we're almost there halfway and we are eight points ahead of man city one of the strongest team in the league if if not the strongest based on um players and on the benches substitution you know they got world class players in their team so as so as arsenal arsenal got the youngest team in the league you know and world class player in the league Odegaard is showing that he is a world class player so guys start believing all the arsenal fans let me know what you think in the comment section you know um can arsenal win the league will they win the league what do you think which forward player should we um go for our midfielder yeah for now big up on yourself welcome to sports talk and don't forget to like and share subscribe click the bell